Um, this was your first experience here in Luxembourg? Um, DJing, yes. I, I went here a lot of times in, when I was young in the autumn vacations to a place called uh, Val d'Or uh, and that's it. But uh, Luxembourg is a nice, nice place. Yes, yeah, a nice place. Um, you have uh, some new singles coming out. Yeah. Can you tell us something? Some new uh, cooperation? Something yeah, like I, I just released a new one with Alexander Popov. Uh, it's, and uh, it's, it's featured on Army's new compilation as well. Um, what else is coming? I have so much new music. I'm just something with Natalie. Yeah, with Natalie Goya. Thank you. And Joe Lewis. <laughs> she knows better than I do. Uh, that's, that's one is called Madrigal, and that's coming, I think, in two or three weeks. Um, and uh, a lot of other news. And the uh, Together remix. I made an album called Together with Roch. We put we have uh, ten new remixes that are going to be uh, released. Mm -hmm. So that's coming in early September. Also working on a new album with Roch or my or myself. On yeah, side. the thing is, you know that I'm making a lot of music and I just um, I can't really decide which tunes to take for an album and I want to limit it to ten tracks. So it's hard. I have about twenty tracks that are finished. Um, so I, I have no idea what to do. We can help. Yeah, yeah, you need to. We can help. help you choose. Please help. How help. statement is doing? Ayuto. <laughs> How statement is doing now? Great. Yeah, um, I'm super happy with the with the talents that are releasing on statement. Estiva is doing great. Roger is doing great. Uh, the eleven guys from LA, Mark Santoro, um, Max Meyer, Soundquel. It's they are all doing fantastic. So it's nice to uh, to have a constant flow of music going. Yeah. And any any cooperation you, you you would really like to do? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. There's, there is a ton of artists where I love to work with. I so. know one. Yeah. Maria Mena. Oh yeah, that's yeah, but that's <laughs> impossible. I would love that, but never see never. There, and yes. uh, I just added to that list. It's a bit of the same as like Maria Mena. It's high as a kite. I don't know if you know it. Yeah. High as a kite is uh, also a Norwegian band. I would love to work with them as well. So maybe, fingers crossed. Maybe. So, what's up next in terms of uh, gigs? And uh, next week I'm off for the first time since God knows when. So it's nice, I'm gonna have my birthday soon, uh, so I'll be yeah. celebrating that. Um, then the week after I'm on going... On Thursday? Uh, yeah, on Thursday, yeah. Uh, the week after I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the week after I'm going to Primfields and uh, New Horizons. And then the week after I'm going to South America, I think. A um, lot of stuff going on. You also played at Tomorrowland again. How was it? Amazing. Tomorrowland is such a fantastic festival, but I have to say also that there's so many great festivals right now. Uh, if you haven't been there yet, make sure to go to Antol mm -hmm. or Sunrise in Poland. Those two are just um, highlighted in my calendar from now on. Poland, Poland is always great for me and Antol was a surprise. I didn't know that it was going to be so good. Oh, so. really? Yeah. On go there. We will note it for the yeah. next year. Yeah, for next year. Okay. Uh, so the ritual question: uh, How are your cats now? What are they <laughs> doing? <laughs> they are growing. <laughs> <and we're laughs> they're, they're doing great. Probably sleeping right now. So uh, yeah, I'll be driving home soon. I'm, uh, I can't wait to see them. So okay. they're doing good. Um, if you have to choose just the three top tunes right now, what would they be? Um. It's a, there's a new one, I can't say it now, it's, it's from Marco Shiso, I've been playing it in my set for a long, long, long time. I've been asked so many questions of people that send me videos on, on Instagram, like, what is this tune? It's a new one of Marco Shiso, he doesn't know the alias yet, but it's going to be on statement. Uh, I still love Rainbow, the track that I did with, oh, uh, yes, with the Estiva, I still play it every set. Um, I, I asked him the story of Rainbow when yeah? I interviewed him at what did he say? Ibiza, so I said, Yes, okay, I know why you like it. The, the special thing in Rainbow, well, it's not from me, it's from Ruben, that's why you like <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, I put that in afterwards. No, but it's, it's, a, it's a perfect uh, uh, combination of both of our sounds. And uh, yeah. I think Estiva is, is a next level producer. And he's, yes, he's brilliant. I saw his schedule of August and he's like all over the place, awesome, super proud of you. And uh, what else? Uh, um, other music. Uh, 
I would love to do another tune with Genix, by the way. So if Genix sees this, because the set that I did together with him back to back at Electronic Family was super fun. Um, yeah. I've seen some videos from it was the guys. Super fun. Yeah. 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 If you could be stuck in a musical <coughs> time, let's say, what would you choose? Um, I think. My, because I'm old, um, my favorite times of music were probably 1999, 2000. Yeah. Those were uh, everything was still new, so everything that was released is still new. I'm not saying it's the best music because if you listen to the music now, it's the productions are not really up to. But they're um, it's nostalgic, so I'm not gonna say that the music was better in the past. Everybody should learn from that. Like it used to be better. Uh, music now is better in quality, but it's just nostalgia from. The, the first times I went to Trans Energy to Inner City, so yeah, I would choose that time. Okay, so thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, for sure. Thank and you. happy birthday for next week. Thank you. <laughs> Stop! <laughs>